Hi everyone, Alva Syke here. Um, today I'm going to just do a real short uh, little presentation on my take on mantras. Um, I'm not talking about anything evidence-based or anything like that, just my take on it, personal take. This is uh, just my information on it. Um, so take it with a grain of salt, but see what you think. So, um, when I think of mantras, I think maybe a lot of people think of mantras as kind of a um, something that you do out loud, a um sound or something like that. Uh, but when I do a, a mantra, almost all the time it's um, silent. Okay, um, and you know, depending on the situation that that you're in, maybe you're not able to close your eyes and meditate really, and you know, and chant out loud. Um, so again, I'm typically using um, silent mantras. Now, um, I like to sometimes personalize uh, the mantra. And um, so one mantra I came up with uh, years ago that uh, I still use occasionally is um, in times of stress, don't. And my daughter, you know, thinks it's just silly but i think the silliness of it the goofiness of it actually um helps it assists in uh in the purpose that uh, uh i wanted to uh, assist in um so if i'm um feeling stressed out um or i'm starting to feel stressed for whatever particular situation. What I want to do is I want to catch that stress level early. I think that's real important. So if I can feel like I'm starting to get a little tense, a little edgy, uh, that's a perfect time for me then to maybe take a couple of nice deep belly breaths. And then, you know, in my mind, um, I'm actually saying, you know, the mantra, if I'm using this one, you know, in times of stress, don't, um, fine, it could be a different mantra. I think, again, the idea that maybe it's a little, a little goofy, a little silly, uh, just helps. Uh, you know, humor tends to, I think, lighten uh, the load a little bit, especially when we're talking about things that can kind of be stressful. Um, here's an example of when I would use it. Okay, so I'm Living in Southern California, driving the freeway is um, just part of life over here. And um, it's inevitable that if you're driving the freeway, you're going to get cut off. And it's real, real easy to, to get upset and um, to let it build up and get angry and stressed out about it. Um, perfect time just to take a couple of nice deep breaths. Use the... Um, the mantra in times of stress don't you know it's got that funny little thing going with it that I think is kind of funny so it kind of lightens the load a little bit and I'm able to catch it um, soon before I escalate it out of control okay one more thing now um, like I said sometimes silly ridiculous mantras work for me uh, there'll be other times where I'll use something that's um, maybe not quite so silly and ridiculous. Um, and I do like to uh, alternate mantras. I won't use the same one or the same type of mantra. Um, because I, for some reason, for me, they seem to be a little bit more uh, effective if um, I don't overuse them or rotate them. I alternate them. Um, so now, I'll leave you with this one. So if you've ever seen the movie, uh, the movie Meatballs with, um, with Bill Murray, okay, there's a scene in there where his, his mantra is, and he's chanting this out loud or repeatedly in front of a group, but it's, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. And it, it gets to be just so ridiculous 
that uh, whatever you were stressing about just seems to be insignificant. So I've, I've used that. My oldest daughter has used that. Uh, you can't use it all the time because after a while, this is its effectiveness. You've got to you know use it at uh, certain times and frequently and alternate, I believe. But if you do mantras like that, I think, and catch catch the um, the situation early, um, they can be very beneficial. Uh, at least in my estimation, that's the way they've. Uh, work for me. So I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is just informational. I'd like to get your comments on whether, you know, you've done similar types of things, if they've been effective or not. And, you know, I'll put in a plug for the movie. I mean, if you haven't seen Meatballs, go ahead and watch it. It's a goofy movie, but it's fun. Okay, thanks for watching. So long. <laughs>